Welcome back to Core Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting, including some new features coming to YouTube TV. We'll tell you what they are and what we know about them right now. Paramount reportedly has an $11 billion offer to sell part of itself to a new company. We'll tell you what parts and who's making the offer. And Peacock adds some new features as they get ready for the Olympics this summer, including a multi-view feature. These um, news stories and more coming up in a quick second. If you want to learn more about these stories, I'll put a link to each story that we talk about in the first pinned comment and in the show notes so you can read them for yourself. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of television, but still watch the shows you enjoy. All right, let's start off with um, YouTube TV's adding multi-view to its mobile devices reportedly. Now we've seen this pop up for a couple weeks now. Messages have been showing up on mobile devices about multi-view on there, but it hasn't worked. This week, multiple readers sent us screenshots of multi-view now working on their mobile device, which is very consistent with YouTube TV's um, track record of rolling out new features slowly. Now, Core Carter's News has reached out to Google. They have not replied to our request for comment on that, but we can confirm that uh, we've seen that on multiple devices now. Now with this, it's slightly different uh, with it, but it allows you to watch multiple streams on your mobile device, tablets, phones, and the like. Depending on how big your device is, this may be cool for a tablet. This may not be so cool on a phone, but let me know. Would you want multi-view from YouTube TV? This could be a beta test too. YouTube TV has a history of beta testing new features, and then as it rolls out, um, if it works, it's, they roll it out to more people. If it doesn't, they roll it back and take it away from people. Well, my guess is that's what's happening right now. We'll see how this plays out with it. Paramount has an $11 billion offer from Apollo Global Management. Now with this deal, Apollo Global Management wants to buy the studios for television and movies. So the places where they make the television shows and they make the movies, not, not Paramount. Now Paramount has other offers on the table right now. Skydance Media is offering a merger deal, which is reportedly in the works as a possibility. But Apollo Management, the investment group, wants to buy the studios, but not buy the different um, streaming services that they have or the uh, company as a whole. And we'll see how that plays out. Now, the $11 billion offer is reportedly more than the company's valued for, so it's a pretty serious offer. This will probably be very similar to what Fox did when they sold their studios off to Disney, kept local Foxes, kept their Fox Sports channels, kept Fox News, and later, I think, I can't remember if it was before or after this merger, but they also have Tubi. I can't remember if they bought Tubi before or after. Somebody leave me a comment, let me know. But we could see something similar where Paramount sells off their studios, keeps the locals, keeps Paramount Plus, Pluto TV, and its cable networks with it. Um, and instead of being a place that makes, makes movies and studios, they're more a place that just airs it and has different content. They would still have a very large CBS News, CBS Networks, and other, and their CBS Sports, for example, plus their streaming services. We'll see how that plays out. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of that offer. With this also, Peacock is announcing a ton of new features out there for the Olympics. This summer, the Olympics will air on NBC and it'll be on Peacock. The Peacock will stream over 5,000 hours of live coverage in all 329 medal events out there. Now to get ready for this, Peacock today announced a host of new features, or yesterday when you're watching this, it includes multi-view to watch up to four different streams at once. Um, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to, like with other devices, pick which audio feed you want to get with it. It's kind of cool too. They offer the ability to make the one you're getting audio from a little bit bigger than the other three. Pretty cool feature. I actually really like that. You'll also be able to have live action. So as an announcer in a pre-show saying, hey, you know, we got two events coming up. We got um, running and we got um, high jumps over here or whatever it may be. Pop-ups will come on the screen and allow you to pick which one you want to watch. Also, as they talk about upcoming events, you'll be able to set reminders to watch events in the future with this. Um, other um, information here they announced was a browse by sport, search by star athletes, so key 
pop their athletes to be able to see what events they're, uh, they're happening in. Interactive search metal standings um, up to the date right there and catch up with key plays. So if you missed a start of an event, you can get caught up real quick. These are just some of the features that Peacock is rolling out. And some of these features will not be exclusive to uh, the Olympics. They'll be available on other events and other uh, sporting streams there with it. Really nice lineup. I'm very interested to see how Peacock does in the future. We're going to keep a very close eye on this in the weeks and months to come. All right, Sinclair is adding more stations to its over-the-air networks, but this time only for ATSC 3.0. Now, next-gen ATSC 3.0 over-the-air television that you get with your antenna, one of the big selling points is it's supposed to be able to offer a lot more channels. As of now, most markets, it's just the same sub-channels and main channels you get with your 1.0 antenna. But with this, Sinclair has announced that the Tennis's T2 channel, their free second alternative ch um, tennis channel, there's a lot of good events, but it's not the main tennis channel, will now be added to all of its Sinclair-owned market channels that offer ATSC 3.0. First major, I think, a move in this way where we're just seeing it across the board like, hey, we have the ability to add more channels in all these markets, we're just going to do it. I suspect we'll see a lot more of this in the years to come as we see more channels come to just ATSC 3.0. For now, if you have 1.0 and you're happy with it, a lot of people have just stuck with it and not transitioned over to ATSC 3.0 because it's the same channels and the same quality. Now though, with this, we're starting to see that change. I suspect we'll see this become more and more popular in the years to come. All right, we've been debating the price of the new sports streaming service from Fox, Disney, and Warner Brothers Discovery. This will offer 16 channels like ESPN, local ABC, and Fox, and other channels like TNT and True TV, for example. Now, we've heard prices everywhere from 30 to 50 bucks. Now, The Athletic has come out, kind of supported what Fox hinted at, that the price will be between 40 and $50 a month with that. So you'll be able to watch um, all these channels for 40 to 50 bucks a month. I've said this many times, I think it needs to be 40 five dollars or lower if i think this is going to be successful once you're within about twenty dollars of youtube tv hulu and others i think a lot of people are going to say well for 20 extra bucks i get a whole lot more content by going to those other places but if they can come in at the 40 to 45 dollar range and i can add peacock and in um, paramount plus for a lower price than youtube tv for example i think they got something there Ideally, $39.99 to me sounds like a sweet spot to start this at, um, to get a lot of customers in. Uh, but I think if they start at 50, I think they run the risk of people looking at that saying, maybe I just go and go get, spend a few extra dollars and get YouTube TV. And that's the danger here. Let me know what price point would you subscribe to this supported service here? Would you pay 45, 50? What is the point, the max point you're willing to pay to subscribe to this service? Or do you think it's just not going to offer the channels you want? If you want to see the full list of channels, I'll have a link to it in the show notes down below. And let me know what you think. This definitely dramatically changes what's happening out there in the world of core cutting as cable networks are starting to go directly to consumers. All right, next up, ESPN is rolling out an updated app for the ESPN app. If you are an ESPN customer, or subscriber to ESPN Plus or a cable service or a streaming service and you use the ESPN app, you should notice a new app uh, menu layout for both streaming players like Roku's, Fire TVs and like, and mobile devices like iOS and Android. With this, you will notice a new uh, navigation menu in the far left, much like Hulu did, and new content discoveries, better recommendations, they said. With this, they took feedback from you, the viewers, and put it together here to make it a better app for the viewers. Let me know what you think of it. And lastly, Amazon has a big spring sale happening. Fire TVs are on sale, kind of the price they've been at a while, but the Fire TV Stick 4K Max is at $39.99, still one of the best prices on the market right now. But leave me a comment, let me know uh, if you like that. You can also get the Fire TV Cube at um, $114 and change. Link in the show notes if you want to find all the Fire TVs for sale right now for the Amazon deal. I'm actually running a little bit behind today, and I apologize, no Q&A today, but I need your questions. I answered a bunch in the comments down below. If you have a question for me, leave me a comment, start off with a question for Luke, and I'll either try to answer your question in the comments or here. Unfortunately, I need to get my daughter to an after-school event, 
So I'm gonna get moving here in a second, but I really appreciate your support. Uh, Core Cars News is our YouTube channel here has seen explosive growth in the last year since I bought back the site. Huge thank you for your support. Welcome to the uh, tens of thousands of new subscribers in the last few months. I really do appreciate your support. So until tomorrow, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.